just from somebody's house. They can hear you. Good afternoon, good people. I'm, I'm here with my good friend Kimberly, and she wants me to let you guys know that she is okay. She's out of surgery. She's away. No butt shot is worth it. She is doing okay. She's awake. Get well soon, Kay. Uh, yeah, I got the best doctor, the best nurse. Ever. She said she's got the best health team and medical team. No, uh, she's all right. I love you, Kay. Sending love to you. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. Feel better. Love from Memphis. They're saying to feel better. They love you. And I love them. And I was so loving. And we told them I would let them know. I'm doing um, good. I'm going to let you guys follow my journey. And um, we good. Best doctor. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not even joking or playing. God is good. I said, hey, Monice, girl. Hey, people. Monice has really been there for me, and she just met me. And she's my birthday twin. Ew. And I think it's just like a connection, like an automatic, but I'm making it. She's going to be just fine. We're going to be just She's fine. She's going to be a beacon of light for other people. Yeah, and we're ready to be petty to people for fun. <laughs> I deserve some pettiness for fun. Well, you want to you wanna start? You want me to give you a little... You want to... <laughs> yeah. Girl, I woke up. Well, not woke up. I was driving, and I seen that Tamar made a video. She, she was, said anybody that gets up early... She didn't say your name, but we're, we're very smart. She's a sugar baby Anybody head. Anybody that gets up early to throw shade, you are late. You are tardy for the party. Tardy for what party? Her head is tardy for the party. <laughs> okay, always girl. messing with somebody. She said it wasn't shade, though. She's she been messing with shade. me. Girl. Anything girl. have to do with my child. Right. She's been messing with me for years. Yeah. And when I say something back... Media wants to make me be such a bad person. I'm over here fighting for some healing and fighting for everything. I don't even want to. Anybody that wakes up early to shade somebody else. It's not hard to shade her looking like a tater tot. She also said she's living in her 2000 square foot apartment. Girl, she is happy. Okay, you eat it. Everybody else. I got into that apartment a lot of times and don't want it. See. My friend keep me laughing. So I'm all right, though. We're doing good. I'm going to eat today, and we got that tissue out. And I have the best doctor, the best people around me. God has put really good people, really good people around me. He said your procedure went great. He did. He did. He said you did really good. He said that um, the glue that they used, He's so happy. He's really happy you know, with it. It's a beautiful surgery. It was a beautiful surgery. And here's something that you'll be happy about. He said the scar is very minimal. It, yeah. It's like a hairline. And you're okay. fine. I know you were like worried about that and stressed about that. So I specifically asked for a reason. I was like, what is it going to look like? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said he shaved it more. He said he shaved he did it. A little bit. He did a tiny lift. A little bit. Well, he's amazing. And that your scar is, once you heal, and he said everything is all well, because I asked if you were going to have to come back to get stitches out. He said, no, stitches is 
art is all the booth is all the and he did a great job and it was a beautiful surgery and we good we are good Monique's is around she has had my back and I can honestly say um Safari's been checking on me all day and those people I appreciate the people who have been there you know like for me and everything like that and everybody has just like had my back so a lot of women just know that it's just not it's not worth it nothing not no but for your life so we good we're gonna watch some hgtv that's right. <laughs> That's right. HGTV and 151. So we're fresh out. I gotta go change and we're good. Oh, and I love y'all so my much. Son, my son shower my And the moral of the story is be yourself. I'm in the shower. When are you coming And up? I'm recovering. And I love y'all so much. And I'll see you guys soon. I was just watching your Wild and Out. I think I'm going to be on Wild and Out for an extended period of time to help my shade. Hey. It's my recovery. Hey, 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 hey. In comedic form. <laughs> Hell, my, everybody else is always shady. But when everybody else is shady, you too. We're wrong. It's cute, but then when you fire that now. Because our shade is different, Monique. Our shade is the truth. Our shade is the truth, and our shade is different, so people cry. It's a lot deeper. Our shade cuts. It's cuts. You know that, and you've seen the way the I shade. Why would you shade me? Why keep playing with me? Because I'm going to shade you with the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's more hurtful. So I have fun with my shade. So Mo's going to help me have some fun and super recover. So this was my third surgery in like two weeks. And we doing good. We doing good, and I love y'all to death. Ready to get me on some makeup and, and get back to me. Thank God for y'all, because y'all have had my back. It's time to make some music. Uh, Mo's writing me some stuff. Um, and we're going to get out there, and we're going to make an album that's about real life. And an album that's the truth about my story so we're here still in our recovery center and i'm doing good and i thank y'all so much i love y'all peace out i'm gonna go eat and i told y'all let y'all know i was good i have good people behind me and good people with me and i love y'all to death and i love them to death um love you so much bye bye What's up, my Finellas? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vina Team at News. So, what you are watching there is Kay Michelle on Instagram Live. She's in the hospital again, um, recovering. I think this was her third surgery. Uh, most of you are aware Kay Michelle is, you know, getting rid of her butt implants butt shots whatever it is that she did she has some complications and you know she almost died and i'm just happy for k michelle you know that she's feeling better she's doing better and i pray that no other complications happen and that she have a long life she have a lot of song to sing and you know she have an adorable son and her fans and just people and herself to live for you know she her message and what she's doing is very important is very necessary in this day and age where you know people are going to extreme length just to achieve a certain look and you know almost everyone is starting to look the same whatever this is my thing i don't body shame i don't judge people whatever you want to do go ahead and do you it's your body it's your life but i'm just saying kimmy shay is the other side of that you know hey i went there I did my thing and all of that, but look at what I'm going through now. You know, it's not worth it. I mean, out of the hospital, when if I didn't do this to myself, I could have been doing A, B, and C. So, you know what? The message is there. I'm not going to drag, you know, this whole conversation because Kimmy should explain it all. Um, just go ahead and watch part one. Her caption is, captions on her post are very long and she explained it all. But I just pray for her and I'm happy that, you know, she's doing 
well and i'm wishing her a speedy recovery now in that video she did go ahead and bring up tamar braxton and she's sitting there with the check monies from love and hip-hop basically you know kami shan and tamar braxton have had a long beef situation where you know kami shan did it a guy you know and that guy married lil wing ex-wife tam um toya toya was friends with Tamar at the time, Kimmy Shaw went in love and hip hop and explained her domestic violence story. She never mentioned his name. Him wanting to, you know, be in the press, went ahead and said, She's talking about me. She never called his name. Tamar Braxton, being a survivor of domestic violence, instead of just staying out of it, decided to jump in it because at that time, Toya was her friend. And oh, he's a nice guy. He would never do that. First of all, you don't have to be a survivor of domestic violence to know this, but if you are one, you don't ever just jump in and start calling the person who went through the abuse and all of that a liar. You were not there, you don't know. That's a very sensitive subject to even play with, and Tamar knows this. So, of course, Kim Michelle went in on Tamar Braxton, called her a muppet and all these things. It was so bad that Tamar sat on the reel when she used to work there. And there was an entire segment on that. You know, you can put it in YouTube and find it. And she's crying and talked about being bullied and how this person called her a muppet and all of that. But she never once in that segment explained why did she call you a muppet? What led to it? She didn't explain her part in it. She always come for someone but then hide her hand. You know, she and Toya is no longer friends either because of the same drama and mess. Long story short, you know, the guy went ahead and sued Kim Michelle and um, VH1 for defamation and all of that. They won because she never said his name. He said his own name. Secondly, he and Toya are divorced. He ended up proving everything that Kim Michelle said was the truth, you know, and eventually, Kim Michelle was vindicated. Of course, she didn't get an apology from the Tamar and the people who called her a liar. So that's where the beef started. Fast forward, Tamar is on Steve Harvey doing a segment. Kim Michelle was on Steve Harvey talking about removing her butt and having surgery to, you know, get back to her natural self and just basically spreading a message about ladies being careful and all of that. So, of course, Steve Harvey knew what he was doing. His people knew what they were doing. He chose this segment with Tamar to bring up K. Michelle. And he said K. Michelle was just here. She talked about her surgery and all of that. And Tamar responded, I'm just saying, if you're going to do, you know, surgery like that, just make sure you don't do it on Groupon. Almost like saying that K. Michelle went in someone's basement and got her butt shot up. And that's the reason why she's where she is now because if she went and got good work done she won't have things leaking in her and almost dying that's basically like groupon that's a discount you know what i'm saying so of course kimmy cheryl heard of this and went in on her on twitter twitter instagram wherever she just went in on her so T tamar now who always she's always the first to lash out but then hide her hand hop on instagram talking about she's not here for the drama and mess i mean are we talking about Tamar Braxton, the queen of shade and drama? Girl, bye. Um, hi, guys. Me and James have a public service announcement because I just feel like it's, it's getting out of hand. Like, let me tell you something about me, and this maybe something y'all don't know. Like, I, we crack jokes and stuff, but... I don't wake up in the morning. What gets me off or what let me have fun or makes us have fun is not shading people. Like, I, how late is that, though? Like, it's tardy for all parties, you know? And if you're getting victory and joy out of, like, talking bad about somebody or you think that's fun or you think... Oh, you jumping on social media to talk bad about somebody or criticize or ridicule them in any way, you're late. Okay. And 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 it's late and it's played out. And I'm simply nothing like that. And I ain't here to, you know, goddamn talk nobody into who I am and who I'm not, because I don't care. But that's not the objective of my life. The objective of my life is to have a good time with my friends, to be the best person I can be. 
you know, and to have fun and work and sing and produce shows to give other people opportunities that I have been allotted. And all this other shenanigans that people have said along the way or made up along the way, that's not who the hell I am. And please don't associate me with that shit no more because I, I can't. It's just sometimes you're just too big for a situation. Time. You're just too big for it. And it's just like, I, I don't, I, I, can't, I can't, you know, I, I thought about it and I can't. I won't. <laughs> you know, I, I prayed about it and I can't. Um, I can't. So you can call me Little Bill. You can call me EJ. He's a, a, a magnificent guy, by the way. You know, we're neighbors. <laughs> Level up. Um, like, you can call me what, you can call me liar shit stuff. I, I don't care, darling. I'm going to do me. I'm going to live, still live my life. I live in a 2,000 square foot apartment and I'm happy. I'm not miserable. I'm not tearing nobody down. I don't wanna talk about nobody. I don't want to. I, I just want to have fun and, and, and along the way, find myself. <laughs> How about that? I'll take that to the king. What? But that message? But we don't face me either. You call me yeah, fat. Yeah, like everything is like. You call me gay. You can call me a homo. You call me whatever. You can call me ugly. You can't call me ugly because I'm not. Oh, but I'm, guess what? I bet you won't run up. <laughs> no, you ain't got to fight nobody. I'm just saying nobody is here to fight. Like I'm not. Every, everything is not a fight I or a battle. Phone, you know, everything everything is not, oh, I'm talking about somebody. What are you? I'm just, I'm not eating anything. But you know what's Easy. funny? That's I'm not just trying to figure out what you, no, it's not, it's like we're so far removed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, that's just not my ammo. So, passion personalities are always misunderstood. I, you know, I really don't care about, about being, being misunderstood. I just don't want to be in no mess. I don't, like, At all. I don't want to be in no mess because that's not me, you know? Like, that's it. So, have a good night, everybody. I still don't feel my best today. I'm going to go lay down and, well, back down. As you can see, I was on my couch with my faith in it. Every time I don't feel good, I have this damn um, blanket. blanket. My sister Cora gave me. My good friend came to see me. Does it have a faith in it? Go get my sissy book. Faith in it. Oh, Cora J's coming. Mm, faith is really good. Now, how about y'all go read faith in it with some faith to your works? Because it's dead. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> but this is the uh, Instagram live she posted here. Okay, so that was Tamar talking about she don't care. First of all, if you don't care, you won't do an Instagram live, so you do care. Now, Tamar says she doesn't care. She just want to be happy. But then she goes and she hop on Instagram again and do this long post about being a mother. And at the end of the post, she wrote, he lives with me. Okay, I'm going to put on the screen. I'm talking fast because I don't want to do a 40 minute video. I want to do it on a probably on a 30 minute video. Okay. And so, of course, when it comes to Kim Michelle, Kim Michelle's about to release her fifth album. Kim Michelle have two restaurants. Kim Michelle is a producer. Kim Michelle have her own record label. Kim Michelle is the very first African American woman to have a deal with Jack Daniels. Like she's just doing so much. She's on the road. She's traveling a lot and all of that. So what she chose to do is. I'm going to set my family up in this nice mansion and I want my son to have, I want my son to have stability as far as home. I want him to go to the same school, have the same friends, have home to come to, have a family structure and in as much as I'm a mom, I love him, I can't be dragging my son on the road from city to city out at three four in the morning the shows are out you know just messing up with his sleep schedule or having strangers as in the nanny wash him and you know wash him while i'm on the road when i come home like why would i want a nanny or a stranger to watch him when i can leave him with my parents when i'm on the road and when i get home he's with me she have custody of her child her parents doesn't but when she goes on the road He's chilling in the mansion with grandma and grandpa and auntie and them. What is wrong with that? 
You understand what I'm saying is stop allowing Instagram to fool you. You know what I'm saying? So I call some of them Instagram parents, you know? Just because you post it doesn't mean it's happening. Kate Michelle can post her son all day. And it would be, oh my God, Kay, you're a great mom. But Kay said that she did not want to go to jail because she clapped back. Because people don't post their kids on social media does not mean they don't have custody. So does that mean Olivia Pope, Kerry Washington, does not have custody of her kids? No. Kerry Washington made a choice that I want my kids to have normal lives. I want them to be able to go in the street and no one knows who they are. No paparazzi, no nothing. I want them to just be normal kids. And when they grow up and want to be in the public eye and all of that, they can make that decision. Kerry and her nanny or just without Carrie her kids can go out right now and no one will know those are her children does that mean she's a deadbeat mom no she just don't post her kids that's it you know what I'm saying but once again Tamar went there and then when K Michelle clapped back now K Michelle is the bully but when she did that everyone laughed because they were like okay you're announcing that you're a great mom and your child live with you that's what you should do that's what parents do you want a cookie a meadow what do you want <laughs> you know what i'm saying so there's no hate towards tamar uh, or no favoritism in the words k michelle where i'm just coming from is don't cry and call someone a bully when you're the one starting mess, if you're positive, just be positive. You don't have to make announcements about it that you don't just just show, prove it. You know, I mean, reality TV or not, off off camera, Tamar was the one posting all her marriage issues on social media and putting everybody in her business and then turn around and say, give me privacy. Like you're telling us everything, you know? So anyways, that's a situation with Kay Michelle and Tim Martin. Let me just say this and end this. Kay, you know, not that she's going to listen to this and hear me, but I know in the hospital, she's home, probably bored that she had to be in bed. So it's just her and her phone and this is fun into her and all of that. But focus on your health, focus on, you know, healing and all of that and just, you know, play Tamar does. But I know that's very hard to do because Kay is just like, uh -uh, I'm going to defend myself every time. <laughs> but all in all, that's the situation with them. But my main focus is Kay Michelle help. You know, I'm praying for her and I don't know if it's, you know, she's, she's going to give VH1 the exclusive. I'm hoping instead of just doing Instagram live from the hospital and, and you know, allowing VH1 to throw in her story, you know, after someone just fought and her story getting lost into the drama. I'm hoping that, you know, she does like a VH1 special or an HBO special where it's an entire documentary on everything that's going on with her getting rid of you know those foreign objects in her butt and all of that and just a one hour two hours on um, documentary and instead of you know these what she's doing being lost in translations on social media alone uh being mixed with a drama of the reality television show just do a documentary and that would be very powerful because you know that could really help a lot of young women out there who feel insecure and feel like they have to make changes to their bodies you know to be great so overall i'm just gonna go ahead and wish kim each other the best i wish tamar the best too you know but it's just like you want to have peace and you want to stay away from drama then stop being a part of them <laughs> that's all and the last thing I want to add about K. Michelle's situation before I end it is this whole thing in every post that she make about surgery, about people not being there for her and all of this stuff. Listen, and I already talked about it in, in part one. Yes, those who are not there for you, recognize and realize the people who can't be there for you because realistically, 
everyone cannot drop what they're doing and run by a bedside sweetheart people got businesses they got kids they have responsibility but as long as they are willing to get on the phone to call to check up on you to see how you're doing you know just how Kim Michelle says Safari been checking on her appreciate those people because not everyone can come and be by a bedside now the ones who can't be by a bedside but they're not calling checking in on you then of course also too let me just say this there are people out there that watch your life and see how well you're doing and know that you have the ability to get them to where they need to be and they know that they have to align themselves with you but they can't just come in when you're already doing well because you're going to be like okay I see what you're doing so certain people wait for those moments where you are vulnerable and now that's when they wiggle their way in there and now you are so vulnerable so you are thinking this person is here for the right reasons I mean this person is dropping everything they're at the hospital with me they are just here for me and I don't even know them that well and sometimes kudos for the help God bless them but they are on their own mission oh yes once I stay here and help her and do everything she's going to be filled with gratitude that anything I ask for I'm going to get and I'm going to use her to the best of my ability until I get everything I want then I'm, my mission is going to be done and then I'm going to bounce so I'm just saying all oh, the same way how you're putting other people on blast and saying this person wasn't here for me also keep your eyes open for those people who out of nowhere at your lowest point out of nowhere now want to wiggle their way in your life not everyone who wiggle their way in your life to help you when you are down are there for the right reasons they see your potential sometimes and they really want to see you win you do have this good people who just want to help you and want to see you win but you also have those people who see a vulnerable person and this is my perfect opportunity to come in here and get what i want so also watch out for these people as well okay you know don't be blinded by it i'm not going to say any names but watch out for these people as well and yeah <laughs> I'm Marvina Loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Remember to always have the God blessed attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing a good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.